All right, all right, here we are. <laughs> Number one, I'm such a big shot. I am such a big shot. You have no idea how famous and important I am. Ah, but you're about to find out. <sighs> Hello, Noble Ones, welcome back to my channel. This is the Metatron speaking, and you, subscribers to the channel, are gonna off me if you continue <laughs> with these comments. <laughs> You know, during my career, considering the fact that sometimes in order to sort of, you know, push the correct interpretation of, of evidence in the historical frame and sphere, I, I get some backlash, I get some hate here and there. And of course, people accuse me of being a liar, people accuse me of being racist, people accuse me of all sorts of things. But today, <laughs> oh my gosh, oh yeah, 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 today, well, today we've got a winner. We've got a winner because this, this is phenomenal. And I think it is so interesting as a psychological case, I can't help us study it. So yeah, have a seat. So on a recent video of mine, I've mentioned how I have sort of a list, or should we say a blacklist of sponsors, meaning that there are a certain number of companies that even though they offer money, I refuse a sponsorship opportunity on the merit that either I don't think the content, uh, the, the product that they're offering aligns with my community or my, my thought process, my ideas, my platform, what I stand for and whatnot, or simply because I'm just not interested. I, I've made that video. And since I really care about, you know, you, Noble Ones, and the sort of perception that you have of me and the sort of sponsors that I mentioned on my channel because I know that then a number of you actually do follow my suggestions then of course I made this video I must apologize to all of you not clickbait because it wasn't clickbait and on this video I talked about how there was a sponsor that really was disappointing because the CEO turned out to be completely nuts and the things that she believes are so opposite to the way I live that I'm like no I don't I don't feel good about working or taking any more sponsorship from this specific client. Now that triggered the following comments. Jimmas5267 says, I thought you said you were going to check the creds of your sponsors. Kamal Harris does nothing but lie in her vids. Shame on you. Shame on you. So, of course, I'm a little confused by this video because as far as I know, the, the, the Pentagon hasn't contacted me, nor any uh, presidential candidate. <laughs> I'm such a big shot. Nor uh, any presidential candidate has contacted me yet to offer me millions of dollars to endorse uh, their uh, political campaign on a channel where I don't talk about... Yeah, that got me confused, so here is my reply. Are you having a stroke or what? When did Kamala Harris sponsor a video of mine? <laughs> Not mine. You guys are gonna make me beep of laughter one of these days. So that was, uh, yeah, a little cheeky, I suppose, but I couldn't help it. Upon close analysis, I would say that this subject tends to be inclined towards conspiracy theories. Uh, not that every conspiracy theory on the planet is wrong. In fact, I always want to leave a little small part of my brain open to the possibility that maybe one out of a hundred of conspiracy theories that we hear on the internet might actually be true or onto something that absolutely can happen, and I'm happy to be open-minded when it comes to that. With that being said, he clearly thinks I would just hush-hush take my money from the, my millions of dollars from the presidential campaign pain and then uh you know i would just uh no i dropped membership to this channel for a reason and this is not gonna get me to come back <laughs> so punishment as well so we've got <laughs> oh my gosh this is really... ah, kamala harris anyways returning to the op so the accusation is and at first i could not understand it so i had to make a post on twitter because i'm like what does it mean how was i sponsored by kamala or kamal Harris, how? How did that happen? Where did you see it? But then you guys figured it out. So I make this Twitter post and I say, okay, I have to share this because it's too effing hilarious. I just can't stop laughing. Apparently, according to this guy, I have somehow accepted a sponsorship directly from Kamala Harris. I'm now waiting on someone to get a random ad from the Trump campaign as they watch a video of mine and then they tell me, shame on you. How could you do that to me? I'm out of here. Method on being sponsored by President Canada. Seriously, people, who do you think I am? <laughs> So what happened is there's this individual probably got a random ad considering the fact that we are, you know, in the American election year and this was an ad by the Kamala Harris campaign which I do have to be honest with you, I see them all the time. Like they appear on Facebook, they appear on YouTube, they appear everywhere, they must be spending a pretty penny for those. And so he must have got that before, not as a sponsor section, of course, but simply as an ad. So he clicked on my video, he got the hand of a Kamala Harris, and he literally thought, oh my gosh, Metatron, <laughs> Metatron is getting sponsored by Kamala Harris. 
So anyways, I thought that I wanted to share with you this comment because it was just too funny and it literally made my day. It's just one of those... Uh, sorry. Um, incoming call. Uh, who's that? I don't recognize the number. Hello? Uh, sorry, who is this? The Pentagon? Uh, yes, what can I do for you that isn't paying my taxes, which I already do? A lot of taxes, by the way. The campaign? Well, yeah, that is that is a pretty penny. Although, then again, prices are so high right now that I wouldn't mind if you could step it up a little bit. You know, when trying to do a down payment and whatnot. You understand. Actually, probably not. Okay, fantastic. Right, so um, I'll be right back, okay? I'll be right back with you and then we can discuss this further. Just hold the line. Hold the line. Hold the... I'm gonna play some here as a might and magic. Gonna make them wait for once in their life. Two hours later. Hello, Secretary of State. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry for, for making you wait. I have very, very important business. Uh, you know, elves don't like to wait. Elves, yeah. And dwarves. They're friends in this game, can you believe that? Yes, yes, it's a very diverse game. Very, very diverse. You've got like all sorts of creatures. Absolutely. 100%. Very inclusive. Lunch? Yeah, yeah, I can have lunch. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. I can have lunch with Kamala. Okay, no problem. Oh, what? Today? Oh, no, sorry. That's going to have to be next week because tonight I've got dinner with Donald. Excellent golf player, by the way. Tomorrow at 8 I've got dinner with Joe, if he remembers who I am. So for Miss Kamala, it's going to have to be next week. Yeah. No problem. Absolutely. Yeah, I know. Very, very successful YouTuber. Yeah, everyone wants to sponsor me. I don't know what to say. It is what it is. Thank you so much. All right, then. So I'll see you then. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Who would have thought that I would have ended up being sponsored by... Um... Yeah. So um, I don't know the age of this person. And if this was someone who is like my dad's age, then sure. I mean, they don't know how it works. So I can't really... It's still effing hilarious. So I just have to laugh. But it's, you know, if it's someone like my dad's age, I would think that he would probably think that. Like if he saw a, a an ad playing before one of my videos, whatever ad really, he would tell me, hey, I just saw you were, you were sponsored by Gillette. The, 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 the razor company i'm like no dad that's not a sponsor is an ad so i'm not gonna go like too hard on this and i won't call them as i normally do with my detractors i won't call them a neanderthal specimen or denny sovan as i usually do because at the end of the day these are probably subscribers and apparently one of them was a former a former member of the channel so once again whatever but the, the thing that really uh, makes me laugh is the fact that they the people not only make decisions and decide to go for full-on accusations, including insulting and public shaming, based on no evidence whatsoever. So I would say that the best way to utilize critical thinking is to first hold on for a second and be like, hey, this appears to me to be this specific way. But then again, clearly these, these people are not familiar with how YouTube works. Therefore, they should take that into consideration before they go into typing but this is where we are right now people are so emotional and they're so angry automatically as a default that they cannot control their emotions so they go they type they shame me shame on you publicly <laughs> oh my gosh I need a drink I got a drink I need I need a drink sorry Hello. Today we get, huh, my comment was removed. I must have been super offensive or something. Certainly not an overreaction to wanting confirmation on a statement. Uh, first, that was not a statement. Shame on you isn't a statement which asks for confirmation. Anyways, I tell him I didn't touch any comments, but for some reasons he said something. Who knows what the heck he said? In fact, I'm going to go look for it because what happened clearly is that the system, I don't know what he said, but the system thought that his comment was out of place or spam uh, and therefore the system automatically removes it, which is what happens in the I want to say 99% of cases when it comes to comments, at least on my channel. Very, very rarely I will remove a comment and in the majority of cases I don't because whatever, people can say whatever they want. So he thinks that I literally went in... How many comments did I get this month? <laughs> I, I need to check this. 
So just to have an idea, these are just the latest videos that I've been posting, and these are the comments that I get a thousand, two thousand, two thousand. So there are already like ten thousand video, ten thousand comments, over fifteen thousand, probably we are around twenty thousand comments a month. But for some reason, <laughs> I took the time to go to his comments specifically and cancel it. I really wish people would wait for evidence before making strong accusations with strong language attached to it. But what have you and then as they continue to spam comments these comments get removed by the system or oh, now i'm being censored by metatron my freedom of speech has been removed even though i'm being one of the loudest proponents of freedom of speech at least at least on x on other platforms where i speak about it but for some reasons no i removed and cancelled their comments and then on top of that they literally believe that i'm being called by yeah so still on the phone waiting Anyways, Noble Ones, I hope you had a good laugh. I certainly did. So thank you so much for watching. <laughs> if you're enjoying this video so far, please take a moment to check out my Patreon page. With as little as a $5 support, you can help us ensure that we can continue to produce high quality and high researched content. And at the same time, you get access to polls, extra videos, unlisted streams, and much more. Thank you so much.